I'm David Hester, and this is the I'm Alive Again Holistic Health Show. My website is www.biblehealth101.com. This is where um, I'm teaching you uh, the biblical principles of health, fitness, and nutrition. All right, given to us by Yahweh, uh, the God of the heavens and the earth, uh, the creator of you and I. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And it's from that premise that I teach all of the lessons uh, that I do on this website. Now today we're going to be talking about some basic information on vitamins and minerals. Okay, and below I'm going to post a chart on vitamins and minerals uh, so that, you know, on my webpage so that you can see what each vitamin does. So I don't have to get into all of that in the short amount of time that I have with you. Um, the main question then today would be what are vitamins and minerals? Uh, why are they important in our diet? Okay, and so basically they're called micronutrients and most vitamins and minerals have to be absorbed from external sources because our bodies don't manufacture them. Okay, and um, they're not an independent source of energy, but they're necessary to convert like carbohydrates, proteins, and fats into energy. Okay, and vitamins also function as uh, coenzymes, um, you know, in our bodies and so forth. And minerals, they're like vitamins. Okay, because they uh, they're also essential for growth. Okay, and they help with the maintenance and repair of the body. And uh, there's all kinds of uh, scientific uh, research being done now on vitamins and minerals and showing that it's, it's these things that play an important role in reducing uh, the, the chronic disease, you know, in reducing uh, sickness and disease. So... Um, there's two types of vitamins. Uh, there's the fat soluble vitamins like um, A, D, E, and K. Okay, um, and it's the fat soluble vitamins that uh, that we should take with food because it helps the the body to absorb uh, these vitamins, and and they tend to be stored for a long uh, period of time, and um, you know. Because you're, you're uh, you know, it it, uh, it stores um, in the fat, okay, and uh, then you have the water soluble vitamins, and uh, that's like vitamin C, uh, uh, the the eight B vitamins, okay, and basically um, these vitamins. Uh, if taken in excess, are just excreted, um, you know, from your body. So, um, you know, there, there you go. Fat soluble and uh, water soluble vitamins. Now, there's a lot of uh, diseases that that we've learned today uh, that are a vitamin deficiency okay like uh, scurvy which was a vitamin C deficiency or rickets which was a vitamin D deficiency or uh, you, you know I mean there's there's so many uh, so many things that uh, that I could mention there but we, we get an idea okay and uh, their minerals are really important uh, for us, for instance, uh, calcium, magnesium, sodium, phosphorus, sulfur, chloride. I think I skipped one. Um, anyways, those those are the major minerals, and um, they are really really helpful uh, and beneficial to our health. And you know, it is possible to get. Um, adequate nutrients um, through the foods that we eat, but most people don't, okay, and there have been a lot of 
a surveys done that um, that that says that uh, there's not a single person that's gotten a hundred percent of the RDA for you know each of the the, the ten nutrients okay and um, you know, of course, now that's not a surprise. There's a couple of things I want to say here. First of all, it's not a surprise because we, we're eating all of this over-processed food um, and it's just junk and there's probably more nutrition in the package than there is the food itself. And secondly, the recommended daily allowance um, is good for some people but not good for others. So either way, uh, we're not getting enough nutrition in our diets. Now, I believe that the best way to consume uh, the proper amounts of uh, nutrients that we need is by eating uh, whole raw fruits and vegetables, okay? And I also think it's uh, really important to take a uh, high-quality uh, nutritional supplements like uh, 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 antioxidant vitamin supplement or something uh, three times a day. And as you know, I offer the, uh, the Healthy Fix uh, product line uh, on my website. Now, it's safe to consume vitamins and minerals. You know, a lot of people uh, talk about how unsafe it is, and uh, there's there's been millions of people that have taken vitamins and minerals, and uh, you know, there's there's been an excellent safety record uh, with that. And now, you know, of course, there's always misuse and, you know, we should never overuse anything. Uh, for instance, vitamins A, D, and uh, B6, uh, and, you know, and most minerals, that they can be uh, toxic if, uh, you know, we, we overconsume these things but even then overconsumption is uh, is is fairly rare so um, you know we, we don't have to to be afraid to to take our vitamins and our minerals we just need to take them uh, as directed on the bottle um, you know when when needed um, also uh, I, I think I've already gone over antioxidants but uh, you know, there's, there, you know, since there, it's kind of in, in the same category, uh, you know, we, we have vitamins, minerals, carotenoids, uh, polyphenols, um, and, you know, there's all of these things, uh, you know, and supplements provide that antioxidant protection that we want, um, you know, so like, most of the the colorful uh, fruits, you know, like like the deep reds and uh, or the the orange uh, or you know the yellow or the blue, the purple, you, you know, you see those uh, those are are the best in, uh, in you know in, in carrying antioxidants. Uh, the most well known antioxidants would be like vitamins A, C. Uh, mineral selenium uh, they uh, we, we've just recently learned about the uh, the compound lycopene and um, you know so antioxidants are are excellent in, in our uh, next uh, study I'm going to be talking to you about the role of government in regulating uh, dietary supplements so thanks so much uh, for your interest uh, in my show today. Be sure to post all of your questions and your comments below. I'll get uh, get the answers to you as soon as I can, uh, either written below or I'll make a new post or I'll make a new video or if you want me to respond in your email, I can do that. Just uh, just leave it for me or contact me and give it to me. Uh, whatever my my email is, David Hester at BibleHealth101.com. Okay. The Lord bless you, and um, I hope to be putting on a new show for you tomorrow. All right, shalom.